Why do Christians worship on Sunday? Why is it the most common day to worship? Well, it is indeed the most common day to worship. There are Christians who do not worship on Sunday, but continue to worship on Saturday, such as the Seventh-day Adventist and other denominations like that. But it is true that the majority of Christians, 98 point something percent of Christians around the world, uh, tend to worship on Sunday morning. Uh, and that becomes the primary time of worship. Uh, and uh, that happened because of Easter. Uh, as Christianity, early Christianity developed, the original Christians, the first Christians, were Hebrews to begin with. And so that's why throughout the New Testament you have it said many times that Jesus and his disciples went to the temple or went to the synagogue. They were living out their Jewish faith. But as Christianity began to spread throughout the known Roman world at the time and Gentiles converted to Christianity, slowly but surely they began to worship on Sundays. Matthew 24 and verse 4, Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Friends, the Sabbath was never changed. Jesus said, Think not that I've come to destroy the law and the prophets. I came not to destroy, but to fulfill. And that's Matthew 5 and verse 17. So that video, that clip that you just saw, the man is saying that the, the Sabbath was changed and the apostles kept Sunday. Let's go into the Word of God. Turn with me to your Bibles in Acts 13, verses 42 to 44. And the Bible says, And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. This is after Jesus' death, resurrection, and he went back to heaven. So friends, we are seeing here that the Jews, when they left the synagogue, the Gentiles, they sought that the words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. So we are seeing that the Sabbath was continued to be kept sacred by the apostles, even after Jesus left the earth. Now, when the congregation was broken up, Many of the Jews and religious proselytes, and the word proselytes mean individuals who are converted from one religion to the other, followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. Friends, let no man deceive you. Let's go on. Turn with me in your Bibles to the book of Acts chapter 15. We're talking about it. The Sabbath was kept after Jesus left the earth. Yes, friends, picking up at verse 19, it says, Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God, but that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols, and from fornication and from things strangled and from blood but note verse 21 friends for Moses of old time hath in every city them that preach him being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day and which day is the Sabbath day friends Exodus 20 verse 8 to, to 11 tells us that the seventh day of the week is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Let's go on. Acts chapter 16, verses 13 to 15, and the Bible tells us, And on the Sabbath we went out of the city by a riverside, where prayer was wont to be made. And we sat down and spake unto the woman which resorted thither, and a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple, of the city of Thyatira, which worshiped God, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. Yes, friends, and here it tells us, and when she was baptized and her household, she besought us, saying, If he have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. And she constrained us. Friends, the apostles kept the Sabbath, the seventh-day Sabbath, even 
after Jesus left this earth. And we are seeing here that they met for worship by the riverside. And this lady, Lydia, and her household were converted. They were baptized. Yes, friends, let's go on. Acts chapter 17 and verse 2 tells us, And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Sabbaths, three Sabbaths, friends, three Sabbath days, reasoned with them out of the scriptures. Let no man deceive you. Take heed. Friends, we better know and stand on the word of God. Let's go on. Acts 18 and verse 4 tells us, And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. Friends, the Sabbath is still binding and it was never changed by God. Neither will it be ever changed. Let me show you something here, friends. In the book of Psalms 89. Psalms 89 and verse 34. Psalms 89 and verse 34. The Bible tells us that God will not alter the thing that is gone out of his mouth. Look at this. Psalms 89 and 34. My covenant will I not break nor alter or change the thing that is gone out of my lips. So what is God's covenant? We can find that in Deuteronomy 4 and verse 13. Deuteronomy 4 and verse 13. Yes, friends, we need to know the word of God or else we will be deceived and we can end up worshipping, thinking we are honoring God when we are paying homage to another power. So Deuteronomy 4, 13 says, And he declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, even what? Ten commandments, and he wrote them upon two tables of stone. Friends, the Ten Commandments are still binding, which God wrote himself with his finger upon tables of stone. Look at this scripture in Malachi 3 and verse 6. Malachi 3 and verse 6 tells us, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, the sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the friends, the, the Sabbath is still binding. Let no man deceive you. Look at 2 um, Corinthians. I mean Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 13. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8. Jesus doesn't change, friends. Jesus is consistent and so we ought to be. Hebrews 13 and verse 8 says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. So friends, who will you obey? Look at this. Hebrews 4, picking up at verse 4. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. Yes, friends, and in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief. So, friends, we need to believe the word of God. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 10 that the just shall live by faith. Here in Hebrews 4, the verse 7 says, and again, he limited a certain day, saying to, in, in, in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if ye will what? Hear my voice, harden not your hearts. For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? Did you catch that, friends? And verse 9 tells us, There remaineth therefore a rest. To the people of God. If you want to truly be a child of God, then you must keep the seventh day Sabbath that God has placed 
in the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments, the Fourth Commandment that we must obey. Friends, did you know in the earth made new, we will keep God's Sabbath? Yes, friends. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 66. Isaiah chapter 66. And let's read verses 22 and 23. And the Bible tells us, Isaiah 66, verse 22 and 23. For as the new heavens, yes, friends, and in 2 Peter 3, we are told that there will be new heavens and new earth. So in Isaiah 66, we are seeing, For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, saith the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, from one Sabbath to another Sabbath, shall some flesh, no friends, all flesh, all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. So the Sabbath is connected with what? Worship. And God is saying that worship will be practiced by all flesh in his presence in the earth made new on the Sabbath day. Yes, friends. So may God help us that we will take heed that no man deceive us. Father in heaven, please help us to stand on your word. Please help us to believe your words. Please help us to study your words. And oh Lord, forgive those who have been trampling on your Sabbath and rob you of holy time. And oh Lord, I pray you'll forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And may we make a choice that comes what may, we will obey you and honor your Sabbath day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Fourth commandment is still valid and unchanged. Hear the Father gently calling. If you love me, keep each one. Not for merit or salvation, but because you love my Son. Holy day, purified, set apart, sanctified, enter into joy divine, in this temple made of time. Holy day, purified, set apart, sanctified, enter into joy divine in this temple made